Domingo Herman pitched the 24th perfect game in MLB history, and it only took the man 99 pitches to do so. New York Post Yankees beat writer Greg Joyce was at the game, and he's at the stadium now for Thursday night's game, and he's on the line to talk about the historic night in Yankees franchise history. Uh, Greg, to go full Bay Area, the man went hyphy on the mound last night. The perfect no-no, 27 up, 27 down. Uh, he had struggled in his prior two starts. So take us through what you saw last night. How did he get it done? Yeah, so he, Domingo is always – you know, he showed flashes of, of this talent and being able, being able to do something like this. I think it was in, uh, last year or two years ago, he, he took a no-hitter into the eighth inning, I think, against Boston. So he's kind of always flirted with it a little bit and, and shown that talent. It always hasn't always been there, though. Like the last two starts were, were brutal. He was 15 earned runs or over five and a third innings. So, uh, but, you know, he came out last night and just started attacking the strike zone, which when he does that, he can, he can mow through lineups. Uh, you know, he had his curveball working, which is key for him. He, he threw it 51 times, I think, out of his 99 pitches, and Oakland couldn't couldn't touch it. And when they did, it was weak contact. So he just he had everything working for him. Uh, and, and like you said, to be able to do it in 99 pitches, that's really efficient. I mean, 99 pitches in a complete game is great for any anything, never mind a perfect game. So, uh, you know, he, you know, the Yankees were excited about this. Just that they, they feel like Herman's had that talent and just been able to put it together for nine innings last night to. to you reach history. So it was the fourth perfect game in franchise history. So where would you say this one ranks amongst uh, David Cones, David Wells, and Don Larson's? Yeah, it's such a rank. Obviously, they're so unique. You know, Don Larson's being in the World Series, uh, David Wells be, being the first one in regular season history for the Yankees, and then David Cone doing it a year later. But uh, just with with Herman, it's it's a you know another unique one. Obviously, he's had a bumpy ride through his career. Uh, you know, a few years ago, got suspended for violating the least domestic abuse policy. And then earlier this season, uh, he got suspended 10 games for a failed forward substance check. Uh, and then in between, he's had some really good stretches and then some bumpier stretches as well, uh, results-wise. So to be able to put it together, I mean, it, it did come against the, you know, the worst offense in baseball this season in the athletics. But, uh, you know, 80-some pitchers have had a chance to throw a perfect game against this same team earlier this season and not have been able to do it. So, uh, that, that, you know, that doesn't fully diminish what, what Herman did here last night and just to be able to put it together is obviously a you know, night that he said this morning that, it, that he knows he's going to remember for the rest of his career and you know people will be asking him about it 20, 30, 40 years down the line. Yeah, it wasn't just a big night for the pitching. It was a big night for the bats as well. The Bombers brought it out. 11 runs. That's the most in any perfect game. So I'm saying they're 7-8 and eight right now in their last 15. Do you think that this, that game, was the mid-year spark to get a run going. Yeah, you never know, right? You could look back a week, two weeks from now and kind of uh, pinpoint that one. It, it's funny to the offense, like you said, finally bursts out and kind of get it's totally overshadowed by, by what Herman did. But, uh, you know, they, they scored six runs in that fifth inning, which was more than they'd scored in any full game since June 13th. So obviously, uh, you know, the opponent is, is what it is. But just it, anything, you know, the Yankees will take anything at this point just with the way they are, their offense has been scuffling. Uh, you know, to have John Carlos Stanton homer and, and a two-run single in there too, and it was really the bottom of the lineup that got it going with Connor Falefa, Higashioka, and Volpe. Uh, you know, getting some hit and runs in there, some bunts. So just to get it get it over to the top of the order, and then those guys kind of following through. Uh, you know, the Yankees need all that they can get, and so it's, it's important for them to be able to build off that and, and take that momentum. Uh, obviously, they got the series finale today, then a series in Cleveland, and uh, sorry, St. Louis, uh, another team that's struggling. So they got to take advantage of all these teams that they can and and try to use this as a springboard going forward. Yeah, try and ride that wave. Uh, Greg Joyce, thanks for joining us. Sure, thanks, Brandon.